Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, I have a special treat for you guys tonight. Um, as some of you guys might know, I'm a moderator over at the Komodo Internet Security Forums. They offered me a couple months ago. And um, being a moderator gets you a couple privileges. One of them is that you get to test out new builds. And what I wanted to show you guys tonight is a uh, very first pre alpha alpha release of Komodo Internet Security version 4.0 um, this uh, I've had this for a little bit so I had some time to play with it tonight I'm not going to do any testing on it because it's not finished yet um, but what I can show you is some of the new features on it and how it looks so let's begin with the install here and I'll also install like uh, a safe program so you can see how it works when you're installing something. Of course first it tells you it's a beta so that's fine. They call it a beta but it's even before that. We'll install the antivirus on the firewall. We'll join Threadcast community. We won't use the DNS servers. We'll just leave everything like it is and we'll install it. Once it's installed, it's going to ask me to restart. So I'll restart and I'll pause the video and then I'll come back after it's done restarting. As you can see, it's got a new icon on the desktop, and I'll be back. Okay, so Windows is starting back up again. I will tell everybody that I have done some testing on the way it is right now, even without a completely finished AV section. They're still working on that and I exposed it to about 20 or 30 brand new malware and I only found one that got by and even then it didn't get by all the way through so I have a feeling that once they're done with this it's going to be very very strong okay so as you can see it has uh, the new network detection box has changed a little bit and now we'll pop up the new user interface so as you can see First thing, they changed uh, the user interface a little bit. It's got red coloring now, uh, different lettering, different icons, you know, but it's still basically a little bit the same. They're not going to do a lot of major updates to this until version 5, from what I know. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to update the virus definition so you guys can see how that's changed. If we hit update, okay, now what you'll see, what wasn't there before, normally this the counter would jump up to 30% doesn't do that anymore it actually you know works like it's supposed to and a nice thing now is you know how many megabytes you've downloaded and how many you have to download which is great so you kind of keep an eye on of you know is it working isn't it working well now you know that it actually is working this summary tab you know it's got an update this is your system status here so if you need to do something I'll tell you right here uh, if you need to do if you have to run a scan or do an update or whatever it tells you right here Got the virus defense, you know, if it's set up, you know, what type of scanning, if it's when the update's been done. You have network defense right here, you know, your firewall. If we go over to the antivirus, you have run a scan, just like the last one. Uh, you have update virus definitions, which we're doing right now. You have quarantined items. You have a submit button right here, clear, restore, delete. Virus events. The submit files just like was in the other one. Scheduled scans, nothing's different here. Scan profiles, you can edit what you scan there. Same stuff, real time, manual scanning, schedule scanning, exclusions. It's all pretty much the same on the on the AV tab. We'll go over the firewall. You have firewall events. Nothing yet. Trusted application. If you want to define one, a new blocked application. You can do the stealth ports wizard, um, view active connections. I mean, this is all basically like 
the last one. No, nothing's really changed here. Security policy, global rules, port sets, you know, application rules, firewall policies, uh, firewall behavior settings, you know, safe mode. You can create rules for safe applications, alert settings. Advanced, you can change different things here if you want. You can add on more protection. Okay, and go to uh, defense. This is where the change is on this version. What you notice here is I have a sandbox. That's brand new. Uh, defense Plus is basically the same, but now in stock format, you have um, a lot of the mo all of the monitoring settings are checked now, right from the factory. So that's good. Run in safe mode. You know, you have pre, uh, predefined security, uh, image execution, that's turned on now. So that's good. Uh, common tasks, these are all the same. So let's go to the sandbox. You have three options here. Um, program, you can see what programs are run in the sandbox. You can do sandbox settings enabled. It can do, uh, it, it's not a traditional sandbox like sandboxy where it virtualizes everything uh, from what I can what I understand about it um, it's a modified sandbox and the nice thing is about this one is that it runs on 64-bit too um, and then you can pick a program to run in sandbox more are just regular settings like in the other one so what's the sandbox do for you from what I could understand and read, uh, I didn't spend a lot of time reading on it, is that trusted programs, which are part of the trusted vendors list uh, right here, are not run in the sandbox. Anything else is run in the sandbox automatically. Uh, I don't think you're, you can even see it here. It's just run sandboxed. So if it's an untrusted application, it's automatically run in sandbox. So what's that mean? So let's go to install uh, a well-known program. Let's install a couple, Malwarebytes and um, CC Cleaner. All right? Those should usually give you a lot of pop-ups right here, like when the program, uh, the, the current version, it would give you pop-ups asking you different types of questions. Which, uh, you know, um, is not novice friendly. But in this version, so you'll see you'll get um, no questions which is great because it's basically it's going to become they're working on making it a install and forget program it'll only ask you a question every now and then if you're trying to install an exe a program that isn't signed and even then it'll just ask you one question about it but seeing as malwarebytes is signed it's also a trusted publisher we can go with our regular install, just like we always do. As you can see, no pop-ups. So no problems installing the program. Easy as pot. You don't have to go to install mode, uh, none of that. It just works. As you can see, it's connecting to the internet now, and it's going to do its update. See, no pop-ups. Do you want it to connect to the internet? Any of that stuff. Gotta hurry up here, I'm running out of time. Got about a minute. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to install this one in a minute. But it was updated. And the program will run. And there you go. Malwarebytes is installed and good to go. Not one pop up from Komodo. This is a great improvement on uh, Komodo. No, no problems with. Uh, with anything, you saw no events, no nothing to worry about. Let's see where it's at here. I don't see it here. It's probably around here somewhere. But as you can see, um, Komodo has uh, definitely improved, and uh, I'm gonna have more videos up as more things come out. Alright, thank you for watching and uh, have a good night.